welcome everyone it's 7 35 and i respect your time and i appreciate so much for you coming in here to celebrate my company my brand new company oh i, I gotta get people in oh i've got i feel really rich and abundant not money wise but my life is so rich it's so rich we have people from all different parts of the world are tuning in today just to celebrate with me my launching of my brand new company, which I just thought of the name like literally a month ago. And I'm keep praying because I didn't know how. Hey, Fred. Hello. I didn't know what to do because, um, you know, life is just full of changes and changes. Sometimes it can be painful and sometimes Changes actually push you to a place that where you do unconventional stuff. So I have check in from Thailand, Mr. Samuel Jackson. <laughs> Good <we> morning. <laughs> Welcome. Fred and I went back four years ago. We shared the TEDx stage and uh, he's, he's wonderful. He got a beautiful message. And I have Linda. Kohagura, I still couldn't say your last name, Linda. I, I think she's on. She's tuning in from yes. Hawaii. So, um, you know, I so appreciate for, for this. And then my old friends from my corporate world, Deborah. Debbie, I never call her Deborah. It feels weird. So I'm calling you Deborah. You answer to anything. <laughs> well, just like me and Leah, you know. And then I have um, Toastmaster friends. Kim, and then I have um, Chamber friends, Lori, and then I have my co-host friend, Sarah M, and then I have my decorating world friend, Stella, show yourself, honey. <laughs> she's, my, she's my interior decorator designer, and I work with her on beautify people's window treatment. Uh, and then I have Krista, my, uh, my, Nabo president friend from Orlando. Um, Krista is amazing, doing a lot of wonderful stuff for women. And I have uh, Juliana, my friend sister, who is literally helping me launching my website in the past two days. I gave her like no, <laughs> no time to work with. So I just get something and say, Juliana, I need to launch it on Tuesday night. And she deliver. And so I have like four pages on my website, leetran.com, uh, check in anytime. And then I have Chantel and I have Natalie, my new networking friends that uh, I just met a couple months ago and uh, fun people and people with big visions. And I love people with big visions. So uh, there's many more coming. And I think they, some say that they'll come in close to eight and some couldn't make it because it's Ramadan and they have to break fast uh, at this time of the day. But um, for, for anyone who can, we, we're playing this live. Oh, and I never did put live. I thought I did. Oh, well. It's on Facebook. And it is? Yeah, it's safe Facebook. Oh, maybe I did it twice. <laughs> you know what? Technology has a way to play trick on me. And I was planning to launch after Easter because you know what? It's Easter, right? It's rebirth time. It is, you know, a beginning of new chapter. And I was like, oh, well, let's do it on Monday. And then I realized it's April Fool and I do not want to launch <laughs> my website on <laughs> April Fool's Day. So uh, so I pushed it to Tuesday. But um, you never know with the... With, uh, with the computer and with the zoom that what kind of trick you're going to get but tonight it's um it's a celebration night many of you already know me there's a few people that i met once um our vendor who just hopped on i met her once um and we're supposed to do coffee and we never did and then she texted me and i was like want to come to a party and there <laughs> she is i'm here Hi, good to have you. Congratulations on your Thank new venture. You. I'm happy to support you here. Thank you so much. And and I feel really blessed to have all the people here. And many things in life you never plan. 
and things just happen. I never planned to be a writer, an author, and somehow COVID just kind of kicked me and I, I give birth to a book baby. And then I never planned to be a speaker and COVID made me sit here and I was like, what am I gonna do? So I learned to speak. Um, I learned to speak when I have actually my first business. Now, the only time I was not dare to do anything unconventional was the time that I was still in the corporate. I was just like a teeny tiny mouse, you know, ask Debbie, she she knows, you know, I'm always draw within the line. I was do what was told, never really even suggest anything crazy, except, you know, baby showers and wedding show, <laughs> bridal showers. And we have a lot of fun back then. But when I, when I get out of business, I just feel like, you know, I can do anything. And, and the book that I wrote, um, I did not miss the boats actually, is actually, I, I built my own boat. It's like my dad, he always built his boat. And I feel like, you know, in anything in life, you can build your boat. You can be unconventional. You can be fun. You can think bigger. You can do bigger. You can do more. You don't have to bind to a place that, you know, get labeled to something that, that make you feel small. And so when I was a speaker, I speak on Zoom, I speak to people in Wisconsin, I speak to people, you know, in different parts of the country. And I was always finding what edge that I have to make me different, to make me feel like I am not confined in a box of traditional thinking. And never, never in my mind, in my life, that I would thought I would become a life agent one day, nothing wrong with that. But to me, that was not something for me. No, no, I don't need life insurance. I, I don't need to know, but I'm fine. I'm good. And what happened to my husband really, really turned me around because I need to know, I need to know how to protect myself. And because of that, I've dived into this this conundrum of I need to know all the information I need to have out there. And I'm like burying my head in there and, and looking for a policy for myself. And with that, you know, I'm always like, if you know me, if I have something good that I know, I always want to share. And that's just me. Uh, I, I belong to a lot of women networking group. And if I like a group, I will share without any compensation without anything. I'm like a walking billboard. I will tell people about what I like, what I don't like. And so when I learn about this and I really see that so many of us out there don't know this type of policy that exists. And I have to say that I wanna introduce Tim. Tim is my trainer and uh, Lynn is my mentor. He's the one that um, it, just, it just somehow got orchestrate all of this. I didn't look for this, but somehow Lynn's girlfriend contacted me on LinkedIn and she wanted to meet for coffee. And then I thought I'd just meet her for coffee. And then she brought her boyfriend and it turned out her boyfriend know my husband because he was yay big when my husband was coaching at the, the Christian Brothers School. And Lynn's older sister is my high school friend. And it all evolved. And then the next thing I know, he was looking at what I bought a policy for myself. And he said, like, well, we can do better. So he was giving the spiel. And I was like, oh my God, this is no brainer. I thought I was savvy. I thought I know everything I need to know about saving, about, you know, no debt, about, you know, paying off your mortgage. And, you know, I thought I do everything right by the book. 401k, everything, pension, you know, you name it, I'm on top of it. But then when Duke got sick, I felt like a soft shell crap. Everything, it's just no protection. I mean, whatever I saved my whole entire life can be knocked out just like that. So on that journey, on that journey, I feel like I need to learn about this stuff. This is, this is to debunk the myth out there that spending money on insurance is a wasting money, is a, something that you never need. So I learned that, I mean, this is private bank account that you actually save it in the government, you know, never make you pay tax because you already pay tax, you put it in there. So those are the things that little by little, and I'm still under training. 
and correct me if I say something wrong, Tim, because Tim is a watchdog here. <laughs> but I am so proud. I mean, even though I'm licensed, but it doesn't mean I know everything. This is not something that that you can kind of like have the knowledge overnight. And little by little, I learn. And Catherine is one of my friends that I met one time and I have her on and she now become a team because she just love what, you know, the product and, and, and the brokerage firm that I was in. So long story short, I am on a new journey and I keep thinking, how am I gonna make this? Because I'm, you probably know about me, you hear me talk a lot on my Facebook page. But um, I, I didn't know how to make it. Hey, Stella, it's nice to see your face. <laughs> how to make it more impactful. And this is uh, my official launch. This is a, a birth of a company right after Easter. It's very meaningful to me. And I think, you know, if, if nothing better than announce it to all my friends. Because in, in any business, any business, your friends are the biggest ally, the big ambassador. You know, how many people read my book and then tell their friends, Debbie, you're the first one. You're muted. But, and, and you know, it just, it just, that kind of support is so important. Yeah. And I know, I know we, I'm beyond just a product. You should be very I'm proud here. of yourself, Lee. Thank you. My mission is to help other women because you don't know that six months, I could not sleep because of Duke's condition. I was so scared. Mm -hmm. You know, just just the, the toe from here to the hospital every day for a month was over two hundred dollars, and that's not including gas and lunch and dinners and all the other stuff. So this kind of money that people don't know that they need when somebody gets sick. So I mean, the word life insurance can be like a taboo subject. I know it's in my family; nobody want to talk about wills. No one want to talk about insurance. Nobody want to talk about death and dying and sickness but this is the facts of life every one of us had an expiration um, date on our forehead we just don't know when and and i think you know it's critical that uh, that people can think about it when they're healthy and young now i miss that boat i miss the youth boat <laughs> so i mean uh, i i'm still so my healthy you know with every day, you just never know. But I I want you to know that, you know, this is what I am stand for. And I want to make a movement. I don't want to sell life insurance policy. I want to make a movement. I want to give people information, education, especially young folks. I've been talking to my son. I was like, you don't understand. At 20 some 30 years old, you get the power of time. You get the asset that nobody else has. At your, at, you know, who are older. So make sure that they are protected because I love, why I love this product because Tim knows he's he's been the, the AFLAC director for like 25 years and he's in the life insurance business for many, many years. And if he believes in that product because he knows so much about that industry, who am I not to believe in it? And the more I dig in there, the more I really love the part that, you know, it's also protecting you. If you're not sick, if you're not dead, you can use it as your retirement fund and it's all tax free. Now, why didn't I know about this when I was in the corporate, when I have easily a couple hundred dollars to spare a month, easily. Why didn't, I was like, I thought I know everything. I thought I don't need it. I thought I have a pension fund. I thought I have a retirement fund. I thought I have a 401k. So there's a lot of things that I I thought I know and I didn't know. And that's the reason that I want to make a movement to share with women 
And my goal is to share with 5,000 women by the end of 2025. And I need your help. I need your support. I need you to be my ambassador. I need you to tell people that, you know, there's the thing that you can protect yourself in case you're sick, you die, your kid don't have to pay all the tax and pay all the estate, you know, probation, you know, all this thing. I mean, there's a lot of nitty gritty in there. I'm not a financial planner by any chance. I'm doing a disclaimer here. <laughs> I'm learning from my brokerage firm. Everything we said is uh, has a disclaimer on it. Just like, you know, people tell you they, good, take, they take good vitamin, but they always say, okay, consult with your doctor first. And I want to say, yes, consult with your CPA or whatever financial aspect you want to have, but also open your mind to learning stuff that I have kept my mind closed for so many years. And I, I regret, I really regret that I did not take the time to learn for myself because actually this is, this is saving for myself. I'm not paying anybody. It's like, you know, uh, if they want to, they want us to help. They want me to help. They want, you know, the product. I can, you know, sit down and talk to them. But by no means, if they can take the information and do whatever they want with wherever they go, just make sure that they understand there are such a product out there that can protect them in three different legs. Dead, alive, sick, and living way out. You don't want to outlive your money. And this is one of the vehicles that can actually help you outlive your, not outlive your money. But um, life, life got a way of um, make, giving you lemons and here I am giving you a lemonade party because I have extract those lemon and make it a lemon and I don't want to drink it by myself. So I'm having a lemonade party and um, I am planning that every month or every other month, I'm going to have a workshop inviting expert to come and anybody can come in and ask any question because procrastination is dangerous for your financial health. You know, uh, I have a friend that this morning that she was, I don't know where she is ever. She, she did a test live on with me and she said that her neighbor across the street, 65 years old, out, already just retired, but she, he had to take care of her his 80 some years old mother. And now they are thinking about selling a place and get a smaller place because it's kind of sucked his money already. And, and that's the thing that we hear all the time. We hear about stroke cancer. You know, if you check on my website, you will see that some of the little facts that I put out there, things that it always was a statistic to me until my husband become one of the statistics and then I get really scared. And then I go to the hospital and then I see a slew of 30, 40, under 50 have heart attack and strokes and cancers and whatnot. And how many of us do know people in our arm reach distance that have you know, those kind of predicaments? So I'm just here to raise awareness and I'm just here to to be a, a source of uh, information. If anything, I don't know. I can call team up. I can call my uh, other mentor up. I can dig out. I can find expert. Um, I am collaborating with uh, an attorney in uh, Florida. She is an estate planning attorney. So she has a lot of knowledge about that. And I am going to team up with, you know, hopefully some accountants. Hey, Lori, listening? <laughs> listening. <laughs> uh, CPA, you know, people who knows about books and can give you more precise on how to save tax. But my role here is I want to learn about protection. How can we help you protect yourself, your children, your grandchildren, your neighbors, your moms, your sisters, your cousins, your whole village? All right, I think I'm talking a bit too much. Anybody who has anything you want to say? Yeah, Lee, I'm in in the age range that I am. Of course, uh, you know that I just went through um, dealing with two different estates in my family, um, and one of the things that uh, you know that I learned, and and my husband and I have both um, just gone through this. We we made sure we had our wills 
put into order and um, our trust. Um, but one thing we thought we had nailed was long-term care insurance. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure there are a lot of people in my age range that are coming to the same problem with the long-term care insurance providers basically starting to collapse. Yeah. And they're either disappearing or they are reducing what they are giving you for the money that they're asking, or they're trying to make a deal yeah. to get out of the original deal that was made. Um, so, I mean, that's something, this is something that I, I really like the, the sound of what you're talking about, because this could end up protecting people like us who are, you know, have paid for so long into long-term care, thinking that we would have it and probably won't have it to the extent that we thought. I know. Uh, I have the expert in the panel for you. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, um, I think, you know, uh, what the beautiful thing is, I know for me and you, Debbie, um, buying life insurance is, is high ticket now. I mean, I have to pay a lot for it. And I was willing to do that. But you already have long term care that this life insurance actually have a components that would take care of that chronic illness and whatnot. But I'm going to refer to Tim, maybe Tim can answer your question. Tim has been in, like I said, he was uh, in AFLAC for long-term care, but this is like his word. This life insurance is like long-term care, AFLAC and steroid. <laughs> am I am I a good student, Tim? <laughs> You're good. <laughs> Oh my! Well, Debbie, it's it's you. You raise a a really important question, and and an issue because by the year two thousand fifty five, it's estimated that fifty percent of our population will be dealing with some kind of dementia issue in their family, mm -hmm. and the average cost of of care today for three years, which is the average lifespan uh, of a dementia uh, patient, is three hundred seventy seven thousand dollars. Okay, my mother, uh, she just passed away in October, and we had her in a care facility for uh, about a almost three months, and it cost us thirty six thousand dollars. Okay, and and so uh, what happens though is that because of the the age factor that comes with that. With with a benefit like ours that pays a lump sum upon diagnosis of Lewy body dementia, uh, that coverage needs to be in place prior to age sixty. Okay, and if there is a, a history in in your immediate family, uh, parent, sibling that has been diagnosed be with with dementia already, then uh, that coverage isn't available to you. OK, because of, because of history. So it's really important that we get this information out to to folks while they're young. Before these things have impacted their lives in, in such a way that they can't do anything about it. OK, now the the great thing uh, about our product is that if you're young and you've already had a parent or a sibling that has incurred that diagnosis, then there is a way that you can create uh, a fund to, to deal with that outside mm -hmm. of the not being able to, to qualify for the insurance component, but there's a savings component that if you, if you know about uninterrupted compound interest and what it can do for you, then there is a way that we can help. And, and, and we can harness uh, situations and in, in things and in, in help you find money that you're spending unknowingly or in, unnecessarily to put that into a component that gets you uninterrupted compound interest so that it works for you and not against you. All the while, when you become and you gain access to those funds that you're not paying taxes on. And so, and for our accounting friends, I you know, uh, section seventy seven hundred two of the Internal Revenue Service Code is is a really really important uh, provision to become really acquainted with, because that is the provision that allows any insurance company 
to legally loan you money from your life insurance policy tax free. And I, I am, go ahead, please. Yeah, I'm, and I'm studying on the annuity part too. Um, mm -hmm. You know, that is another vehicle that I mean, for people that who a little senior. <laughs> Yeah, they you say you know, it so delicately. I love it. Well, <laughs> you know, than <laughs> I don't feel like it, but someday I woke up and like, oh my god, I'm a senior. <laughs> but you know, there's there's ways that we can protect ourselves without paying a lot of tax money. The more I read into it, it's just so much tax that we have to pay, even though you, when you retire. I mean, whatever you say for a million or two, I mean, after tax, you get like a piece of this big of the pie and your your son, is, your daughter might kind of curse you. It's like, no, why don't you know how to plan better? Well, you definitely need people like your accountant friend over here who are, Sarah, is that right? No. No, it's Lori. Lori, sorry. Um, you keep moving around on the screen, I guess, as people are in and out. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, in, in terms of, what was I saying? What were we talking about? That's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Alzheimer's <laughs> disease. <laughs> been doing taxes all day. Yes. So, yes. yes. About taxes. The, whole, the whole tax thing. But, uh, you know, I mean, I think a lot of us are, are have our um, financial planners working on uh, creating Roth um, IRAs after, after we've retired and I don't agree with well, the Roth. You don't agree with the Roth? Okay. Well, I need to talk to you then. <laughs> my my investors are having me Rothing every year. <laughs> I, yeah, the Roth is actually get a cap. And and what's nice about the life that's insurance. Not the problem with the Roth. That there's that's not the problem with the Roth. Depends oh. on it depends on what your tax bracket is. If you're in a 22% tax bracket it costs you more to put money in the Roth than it does to put it in a traditional IRA. But, you know, are we, are we want to ride with the, the- But you have to understand, I'm taking it out of a traditional IRA because yeah. I need to take it out. <laughs> Annuity, look into Debbie. Yeah, that's, this is why I'm, I'm, why I'm interested in what you're, what you're talking yeah. about. I mean, Don't take it out of traditional and put it in a Roth. What is your tax bracket? Well, I just, I'm only social security and living off of my savings right now. So I don't really know what my tax bracket is. Uh, so are you not of retirement age? I am. I'm retired. Yes. So why don't you just take your IRA distributions? Well, that's what I'm trying to do, but with reducing the tax as we go. Debbie. <laughs> Let's have Tim sit down and, and <laughs> the, we need to have a chat, obviously. Yeah. Look at your because I'm looking into open my own annuity too. Because I, I think, you know, there's so many the more I read into it, the more I feel like, you know, this is something that I need to learn. And I know that being a a, a person in corporate world or in business, we just so into making money and learning how our, you know, things that we work and we let the money kind of run loose and let somebody else managing our money. And at this point, I feel like I need to tap on and be able to understand how I grow my money and how I'm managing my own money without, I mean, I'm asking expert, but using what my knowledge when I'm learning to actually grow my own money and not worry about what happened if I'm 90 and I'm gonna be broken, homeless and leave in a cardboard box out in the street. <laughs> And Leah, I wanted to say also as a newbie to all this and everything I've learned from you and Tim is how much it helped Tim for to sit down with you and to overview not only my own kind of experience and, and what to look at for goals, but for you to sit down with my mom too and look at everything. And I, I understand so much more about the possibilities. So thank you both for, you know, it's been very eye opening. I've learned a lot since, you know, in the past month or two. So it is very educational to just sit down and look at what you have and just look at the possibilities. So thank you guys. And that's the reason because this company that we are in, we can help people from all different states, all different, all 50 states in, in America. So we're not bounding to captive or in, in our local places only. 
and and that's why I feel like I have that I have that goal that I can reach five thousand. Like right now, today I'm got what 15, 12 people, and that's I'm gonna write on is that's one of my five thousand people. And if you are going out being my ambassador and just put out awareness and give people something to chew on to think of, but shouldn't take too long to sleep on because. I did not think my husband gonna wake up one day and and relying on me to speak for him. And I was looking for him to take care of me, to do all the paperwork, to run all my financial, everything. And then one day I'm going to the ER and he couldn't even talk for himself. And that was the scary part. I didn't even know, you know, how he structured online pay. It's like everything become to a point that I got really scared. And I don't want any anyone, particularly women, to go down that road because it's so affecting your mental health. And um, we're going to do a little drawing before we go on because I have a $25 gift and a $15 gift and a $20 gift card on Amazon. And, uh, and people are not here. Sorry, I'm going to have to take your name out because you have to be here to get it. But sorry to <laughs> put your name on the thing. Do you be, do you want to be on the the will card? <laughs> do you want to be on the will card? Who me? Yes, you. No. Okay. <laughs> He's my mentor. He trained me, so he knows all of this stuff. This is the information I give out. So thank you, Tim. So somebody else get a more chance to win. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. So should we go from the first to the third or should we go from the third to the first? <laughs> All right, we're going to go from, from the first to the third, okay? So Kim, I'm going to remove you for the next round, but... We're gonna talk for another ten minutes, and then we're gonna we're gonna do the next round. All right. So, any more question? Anybody have questions? I and have a know, question. Yes. Um, probably for your mentor. If you are one hundred percent debt free, why would you need life insurance? Good question. I can answer, but I'm going to let Tim answer. Oh, okay. Whoever. Well, it uh, depends on your age. And, 65. Okay, 65. And it, it depends on your uh, vehicles that you have to save money in. I have investment accounts and I have real estate. Okay. So in your investments accounts, when you... Uh, when you draw money out of those investments accounts, are are you paying taxes on it? I have a I have a traditional IRA, so yes, I will pay taxes yeah. on that. Yeah. And then the other is just a yeah, I would be paying taxes on. Okay. Well, there's there's one reason right there. Now that doesn't that doesn't mean that life insurance is the vehicle that will work for you. Maybe an indexed annuity will work work for you as well. Uh so on the indexed annuity, so you're still going to be, uh, you're going to pay taxes on the disbursements, but your principal is not exposed to loss with the market fluctuation the way that it is in, in a typical annuity or IRA fund. Or a stock market. Yeah. So, but every, everybody's different and there's no, there's no one plan that fits everybody, which is, which is what separates what we do from from the majority of the companies that are out there is because we're not putting everybody in a box and saying, hey, this is for you. Because until we sit down with you, we don't know. Does that, okay. does that answer your question? It does. <laughs> okay. Good. And and for me, for me, Laurie, I think, you know, at the age of 60, 65, 70, is a very borderline of what to do. You know, I think you still can buy life insurance, but do you want to pay a lot for it? And I think for me is um, if for younger folks, why people need to put in life insurance instead of having an investment, 
because you get that huge protection that you don't have to worry about tapping into your own saving, your 401k, your IRA. And first of all, the tax. Second of all, if you already have that saving, if anything, you get that big giant cushion. You know, if you have a half a million dollar policy or a million dollar policy, you can get accelerate those cash and pay for things that do not restrict to any guideline or any um formula like a long-term care or any of the other thing. There's so many choices and flexibility inside that insurance. And I think annuity also do it. And I love the part that you would never outlive your money. Whatever you put in there, they can they can structure a lifetime guarantee income when you retire in the annuity. And there's certain part in the life insurance. So like Tim said, it's just so many different way of how you want to do the other component too Lori, is that there's there's a lot of focus today on 529 plans and uh when we sit down and we show people and compare what they're doing with the 529 plan versus what they can do within a properly funded life insurance plan uh there is uh, a, a, a lot higher a level of flexibility and here again you don't you don't get nailed with uh uh with penalties because you use it for something other than uh education but where and and, and I'll ask you all where can you put money that you get uninterrupted compound interest that when you use it you continue to get uninterrupted compound interest, even though you're using a portion of it for collateral as a loan. Where can you get that? I've never seen it any place else other than than in in this type of a plan. And what Leah was saying is that National Life is the only life insurance company that has a guaranteed lifetime income benefit rider that you can have access to that will guarantee you based on how you fund it a lifetime income stream regardless of the market until 120 years old guys yep. i don't i don't plan to live until 120 maybe 119 but <laughs> not 120 uh, but that's the beauty of so many flexibility that you can do for your children and like I said, you know, I'm learning about the estate planning and the tax revenue. It's like life insurance and estate planning go hands in hand. And uh, like I said, the client that I just, hi, Stella, you have a question? Yes. I do have a question. Uh, team, you just said that um, you get a loan if you need it. So what does that mean? Just the word loan scares me a little bit. What does that mean? Does that mean <laughs> that you will eventually have to pay no, nope. you know, taxes on it or you will have to pay a percentage on it because you took it out? What does that mean? See, that's the provision that section 7702 of the Internal Revenue Service Code provides is that as you build uh, reserves in a life insurance plan, if you borrow the money from your plan that the insurance company uses as collateral to precipitate that loan to you that, that you desire based on your, on your collateral and your cash reserves that you have, then you're borrowing that money tax-free. And that full stop. Huh? Full stop. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, if you surrender the policy and you cancel it, now that all bets are off there. You're on your own. And the amount of gain that you have over and above what you paid in premiums, you're going to pay taxes on that. Of course. Okay. But uh but that's that's the the beauty and the fun of what it is that we do is that helping people understand and discover that as a tier one asset, life insurance, when you know how to use it and know how to fund it and know the laws 
that surround that, that there's great flexibility that, that you can have access to and save yourselves a lot of tax money. Particularly the younger that you are, the better off that you are. I've had plans that I've put together for people that when they're 30 years old, they'll put half into that plan by the time that they're 50 and they'll have a guaranteed lifetime income stream of over $200,000 a year when they turn 60 or 65. Tax free. I didn't know that information. I wish I did. I didn't either. I had no idea. And, what, and you know, what, 40 ahead. years in this industry, and until two and a half years ago, I had no idea that this type of coverage existed. And if being in the industry for that long, I didn't know about it. How's anybody else going to find about it in, unless you have somebody like Leah and Catherine and me out here sharing the information? And the reason, the reason that um, they don't do big advertising because they rather pay money for their policy owners and the agent that is work on it. So this is a company is 175. This year is 176 years old, and they're only two years younger than New York Life. But everybody know New York Life because they were advertising on this billion dollar of billboard. But I National Life, yeah. Tim, you were mentioning about 529 alternative. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm about to fund uh, my grandson's um, college fund. Mm -hmm. And um, I was going to use 529. Uh, but what when you're talking about doing it through life insurance, am I putting it on to my own life or the life of my grandson or the life of my son? How does no, that work? On your grandson. On the on my grandson's yeah. Yeah. life how, duration how of life. He? Okay, two. He's the cutest guy. He's two. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Sorry. He's he's uh. This is when months, you actually yeah. You started. That's when you he, think he looks too, Lee. He's not oh two. He's only fifteen months. Okay. He's only fifteen. Tall. <laughs> really, really tall. Yeah, and and see, that's where we can sit down with you and 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 show you the difference. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I mean, I, we had 529 for my son and it was great. Um, when, by the time he went to college, we were, we had all the tuition put aside in the, mm -hmm. uh, in the growth of the 529 and, and then just basically had to pay for room and board. Mm -hmm. Um, but, and Debbie, you um, can pay this for room and board for books. Yeah. So I, I would, yeah. I mean, and certainly well, anywhere, not even just Penn State. Too. You can uh, go anywhere without any questions. Well, and the thing is, the five twenty nine, you're you're kind of locked into educational costs, right? That's this the, you can buy, buy a plane like ticket for him to go to Spain and study in Spain. Mm. No question I, asked. I kind of like this idea for the the whole investment for my grandson. And he has time because you know by the time he's eighteen or twenty, he's got umpty. He's, he'll be rich as Max. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think either one of them has anything to worry about, but <laughs> but I just I would like to you do it in a way that it it gets it off of my my tax burden, you know. I mean, basically to yeah to remove it in a way that's not going to kill me tax wise. Yep. So yeah, it'd so, be a, a great conversation to have. Yeah, good to know. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do one more drawing. Actually, two more drawing. Uh, I I don't think. The people who tell me that they're going to come in at eight o'clock, they're going to come in because they're going to miss the boat very soon. And I want to respect everybody's time. So I'm going to do another drawing. And we did not miss the boat. No, right. we did not <laughs> miss the boat. And I love people who are on time and not missing the boat. No. Yeah, <laughs> ah, yeah. Look at that. See, I did not miss the boat. <laughs> this is what happened when you put in good energy there you go All right there you go okay all right any more questions anymore and i'm gonna say is um i am i feel really bad for people who have catastrophic uh, things happen to their life like my husband he's off the charge he can't buy insurance even if he wanted to 
I mean, he has to be a healthy individual for five years after whatever things that it occurred to him. Cancer, stroke, heart attack, you know, all those big things. Insurance is going to put an eyes on you and make sure that you're healthy before they put a bet on your life. So, and and the other thing that I have, I don't know if I men mentioned, but they just approved this rider is called Alzheimer and uh, dementia, but you have to be under 60 in order to qualify for that. If you are over 60, you're not gonna qualify for that. And that's a free rider. You don't even have to pay anything extra. So if you know anybody who's looking for anything, you know, um, this is the time to catch on that boat before they're missing it. Tam, would you would you say my experience was unique? That maybe a good to share the possibility. Yes. You want to share how you how you share to others to kind of explain since you can see the difference in the process to share from your like how you share it like as far as the fact that I didn't have health care for a while. Well, you've. You have, uh, if you haven't been to the doctor in a long time, uh, once we once we once we get up a little bit in age, uh, <laughs> regardless of how healthy we think that we are, uh, there's a risk that comes with that. That if we don't see a, a physician on a regular basis, that uh, we're gonna we're gonna go through some scrutiny, and so. When I when I first got appointed with National Life, I was all excited and went out to to get myself a, a policy, uh, and they turned me down because I didn't have any health history. Men, they don't go to the doctors. There, there you go. <laughs> I I hey, I'm a, I. Sorry, Fred. Fred, you might be the different person. So, so. But but what happened is it is that Catherine was kind of the same way. She was just younger. And so what occurred was that because she didn't have any health history, uh National Life 80% of the time doesn't require any 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 blood or, or urine. We everything's done uh through the uh medical information bureau. And and so but she didn't have that history, so they requested that she do what's called a para. And they sent a para out to her. It didn't cost her a dime. They 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 checked her out and uh, sent the results back to National Life. And what kind of rate did you get, Catherine? Above standard, I got what select. Yep. So I rated above, um, and and just from my own, <laughs> just good. the way that we live, and and try to eat right, and and things, and you know, obviously, if I had some flags and stuff like that, I would need to pay attention to, but. I just listened to my body and it just been going you through that going. journey the past 10 years. <laughs> so Because I was downgraded to grade below because I couldn't sleep for six months when Duke was sick. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you got to be really careful how, how physicians diagnose you. And and I am guilty as heck because I went to my doctor and said, give me pills, give me a slipping pill, give me a study test, give me this, give me that. I was worried. I was scared because nobody can stay alive and not sleep for weeks, days. I was up. I The most I can sleep is two, three hours. And that's lucky. Some night I'm just like, my day would never start because my night never end. Mm -hmm. And I was really scared. I cry all the time. And I was exhausted, but I was not able to sleep. I could not turn off that brain. And for six months, and I went to the doctor and I complained and I thought it. And then when I forgot about the insurance part. And when the insurance checked and they say, oh, you have anxiety, you have PTSD, you have all this thing, you have a sleep test coming up. And I told the doctor, please, I didn't take any tests. I feel better now. <laughs> And the doctor gave them a note, but they wouldn't budge. So I have to, you know, from, I have to pay another $100 extra for it. Mm -hmm. But you know what? That give me a peace of mind. I'm willing to pay that than have nothing because who's going to take care of Duke if something happened to me? He has no cushion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our 401ks or whatever, you know, it, it, it's, 
it's a mess if I have to tap into those because it's not time and it's this and that. So yeah, so there's many things that we need to consider when we're still healthy. And um, and that's the reason I really want to let women across the board know because we can help anybody in all different 50 states. Now, each, each states have their own little regulation differently. So we have to structure in a way that comply with that, that state. But most of the state, pretty good. Only California and New York are kind of like the two that <laughs> the most uh, regulated uh, in a different way. But the Alzheimer's is good. And, you know, they have a lot of things that trigger um, that you can accelerate it, that death benefit. I mean, for me, truly, it is a living benefit. And by the way, Thai is, anybody can can guess what Thais mean beside the little logo that I have, if you have not checked into my website already. You read my book, you probably know, Debbie. Anybody read my books probably know. Thai is my dad's name. They just spell differently in the Vietnamese. They just put T-A-I. But in Chinese, you, you say it correctly, it's Thai. So it's T-S-A-I. And and I, I was like struggling to find a name for my company. And I came up with a, a bunch of kind of cute, but cheesy name. Like I have transformation. <laughs> and it didn't sit with me for a little bit. And then one day I was on a treadmill and I was like, I want to because my dad had two strokes at 50 years old he didn't make it yeah i'm so blessed that my husband made it so you know happened once for you know shame on them happened twice shame on me so i i feel like this is the legacy that i need to honor him and honor the living benefit because it's not about dead it's about when you're alive and you can't function and you can't do anything. It's like the biggest human fear is the fear of loss, of losing somebody you love. And watching my dad and then watching my husband, that's the biggest fear for me. And the fear that you feel so helpless, you can't do anything for them. So the, the best thing I can do is take care of myself, take care of them financially. And that's the only thing I can do at this point. So um, yeah, with many revisions. So after Thai, I was like, buy financial LLC. And I scrapped that after a week. And then, you know, I was like, you know what? All I talk is about living benefit. Why couldn't I make a Thai living benefit? So I told you, go LLC that for me. That's what I'm going to stick with. And uh, again, everything I do is unconventional. and uh, And I love being quirky and different and and be me so I I love you all for always being there for me when I the the, the hardest time um doing COVID was was bad doing COVID I made a really good friend with Linda and Linda is still not showing your face well actually Linda at this time she's in Hawaii I don't know what time is it she, she's probably just got back from work and and still still busy you know getting well let's back. all feel sorry for linda oh there she's sorry, in the car. Car. i had to pull over because i finished work and i can't loiter in our parking lot so i sorry. <laughs> it's only 2 30 in the afternoon uh, yeah. well yeah well thank you so much for for sharing that i know that you know and and, and fred had to get up pretty early um to be on the zoom and i really appreciate every single one of you um, for your support, for your love throughout this journey that I felt pretty lonely. Um, and Krista, I just know her about maybe a year and a half. She become really good friends and she's always, you know, have my back. And uh, Stella, Sarah, Natalie, my Yellow Bull tea bag friend. She's from Ukraine and she taught me how to say I love you in Ukraine. <laughs> and um, Kim, my democratic friends. Yeah. <laughs> and I, you know, I think I think my life is really complete. Um 
so happy. I'm so happy. Lee, I don't know how you'd fit any more into it. but but congratulations on your achievement this is great thank you so go to my website and sign up so i can i can um i can send you guys (laughs) mail and stuff and if you guys feel like this is helpful (laughs) if you feel this is helpful i will have it once in a while, maybe a quarter, a monthly, depending on the demand. And I will have the expert come in here to help answer any question. Spin that wheel. Stella! What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Well, congratulations, oh, Stella. You got 15 mm. bucks on Amazon. Debbie 20 and Kim 25. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here. And thank you so much for always uh, being my supportive friends. And I miss seeing you guys in person. So Fred, when you come back, you need to call me for coffee, okay? I will see you in June. In June, (laughs) but not at the end of June, because I will be in New Jersey, Pennsylvania at the end of June. Oh, good to know. I'll see you then. (laughs) Well, I will be in Pocono because my mom's birthday, my niece graduating. Lena is graduating from high school. Ah. Incredible. Kids grow up fast and we grow, oh, we we, we stay still fast. (laughs) (laughs) I just go backwards. Yeah, we we like Benjamin Buttons, right? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, this is so much fun. I don't want to end, but I know that I want to honor your time. And I, um, any question, just call. And then I will send out if we're going to do this on a regular basis. Send your friends, anybody who have questions about annuity, about life insurance, about things saving for the kid, the grandchildren, for, you know, the, the whatever neighbors. (laughs) <laughs> I think you definitely gave us all something to think about truthfully thank you yeah and and like I said on my website everyone needs insurance because we do have an expiration date we do it doesn't matter how you see it we all come with an expiration date and why not let the insurance company pay for that instead of paying our own money that we earn you know so hard to earn those money and then we blow it all out for tax and for whatnot so natalie you natalie are you ready are you ready to be our team because oh i forget (laughs) i forget we also have opportunities for people who want to get on board and do this on a part-time basis or full-time basis all they need is invest 125 dollars for a brokerage firm and the knowledge, the time to learn about this, it took me six months and I'm still learning. But mm-hmm. I don't see I don't see making money in the fast way. I see in gaining knowledge. And this is my investment for me. The knowledge that I have will benefit many. And I'd rather take the slow time to learn everything I need to learn and make it a bigger, better impact than just going out and sell policy because that's not what I'm after. But I'm excited because I am intent to build a strong team here in Orlando. So if you know anybody leaving Orlando to want to talk about opportunity, about learning how to save their own money, how to, um, you know, structure a way that they never going to have to go broke when they retire, have them contact me or Tim or, you know, me or anybody or Catherine or Natalie. It's Natalie is going to become one, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, Beck. Did you say something, Fred? Yes, um, I'll be reaching out to you because I'm thinking I got none of this information when I was employee at the sheriff's office or when I was leading. And um, this is something that I'll get. I'll give you information to human resource because this is something that should be a presentation to, to the law enforcement there. So I'll be reaching out to you. 
And Tim uh, has something would, to say. Yeah. Yeah. Let, let me let me share something there because that's that's a really important point, Fred. Because I National forgot Life to bring that up. Thank you. Ted. Is is one of the few carriers that recognizes the law enforcement, active duty military, EMT uh, mm. segment, and don't charge them more or uh, wow. not cover them if the, if they get killed during the line of duty. Oh, wow. Because most of life insurance That's will just scrap you yeah. off if you it, are. It's, yeah. it's uh, when that, that provision there kind of locked me in. Mm -hmm. Because I've 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 dealt with that, and I know the impact that that has on families. Yeah, and uh, there are a lot of wonderful organizations out there for the law enforcement in in, in emergency responders community. It's awesome. But, so many yeah. things I love about this company. I mean, yeah. that's why I am so excited and I'm so passionate about sharing information. It just it just you know, the more you dig into it, the more it's like, oh my God, why did I not know this? Why did I not know about this? But um, it is it is all around from, from dead to sick to, you know, legacy to retire, everything is covered. <laughs> Congrats, Leah. Congrats, yes. Lee. Thank you, Lee. Thank you. I have Congrats, my party ring here too. <laughs> Leah, thank you for inviting me. It's great meeting you all. Hope, yeah. hope we, uh, good to we meet see you, you again sometime. Thank you, Tim, for stopping you, by. I was like literally email him the last minute because out of sight, out of mind. I haven't talked to him for a couple of days. And <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, I yeah, need see, to invite Tim. See how quickly yeah. we're forgotten. <laughs> Love you, Lee. Thank you. So much. Thank, thank you, Lee. Thank you, Tim. Nice see you. Right. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Good night, y'all. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good job, Lee.